I know, I know, this isn't the Phoenix Suns news that you guys wanted, but I still have a duty and a responsibility to you guys to give you guys all the Phoenix Suns news, or at least the Phoenix Suns news that I think is worth talking about. That's kind of what this video is. I'm just really curious to see your guys' thoughts and comments on everything that we're going to talk about today. So with that being said, you guys, make sure to Hulk smash that like button. Just smash that like button so that YouTube knows that I'm doing a good job here. It really helps support the channel, and I encourage you guys to subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. And let's talk about it. All righty, guys. So Sham Sharnia was doing an interview recently, and he basically was talking about how this Kevin Durant trade could take a while. Here's what he had to say. Until they get that price threshold met, which I'm told is all-star type players, a boatload of draft picks, this is what they're telling teams. We're not going to move Kevin Durant until the price is met. So we'll see how this summer goes. And then the article also goes on to read that Sham Sharnia alluded to the fact that a lot of past superstar trades have taken months to come to fruition. And he added that, and I quote, this process with Kevin Durant could take a while. Flex from Jersey has been covering this thing since the beginning. And then he quote tweeted a tweet with that Sham Sharnia interview. And he basically said this. Last tweet today, unless something significant happens, the longer this takes, the more likely KD ends up in Phoenix. The Suns won't sacrifice their entire offseason to go all in on KD unless they're super confident they can get it done. KD wants Phoenix and the Suns want KD. Have patience, close quote. So if the guy that has been covering this from the beginning is agreeing with Sham Sharnia, I really think we are going to have to be patient, you guys. I kind of had a feeling, too, that nothing was going to happen on July 4th. I just kind of had that vibe. I really feel like the Kevin Durant Phoenix Suns trade is going just to happen on a random day, but I cannot tell you that. But I will say this, you guys. We could be having a completely different conversation tomorrow or by the end of the week. This stuff changes by hour, you guys. And I said this in my last video. The Brooklyn Nets are not going to just tear down their entire roster. I mean, they're going to trade Kyrie and they're going to trade Kevin Durant, but they're not going to go into full-on rebuild, rebuild mode. And I like to ask the question and kind of just put you guys on the spot too, like, Put yourself in GM Sean Mark's shoes. You have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving as trade chips. You're not just going to just trade them away for a little bit of pieces and you know draft picks and everything. You want to get the best available talent that you possibly can. So again, you guys, unfortunately, I know that we all want the news, and I know that we all want Kevin Durant. Well, most of us want Kevin Durant to be a Phoenix Sun. But it's going to take some time, you guys. Let me know your thoughts and comments on what Sham Sharnia is saying and what Flex from Jersey is saying. Do you guys think that this Kevin Durant to Phoenix trade is going to happen? And when do you guys think it will happen? And then random question here. Do you guys think that DeAndre Ayton could possibly get traded to the Utah Jazz? The reason that I ask that is because... Uh, Dave King from Bright Side of the Sun did an article where he was breaking down all the Brooklyn Nets moves, which, by the way, it kind of seems like they're kind of filling out their roster a little bit. And he talked about the Utah Jazz. And I don't really think that he, like, said that DeAndre Ayton was going to get traded to Utah or anything. But I'm just curious, like, do you guys think that DeAndre Ayton could possibly end up in Utah? Also, you guys, we have an update on Gabriel Ife Lundberg, who was on a two-way contract last season with the Phoenix Suns one of the first Danish players to ever play in the NBA. And at first it was reported that he was going to come with the Phoenix Suns to NBA Summer League, but he recently did an article, which I'll leave down below in the description. I think it's in Danish language, but I translated kind of a big part of that interview. And here's what Gabriel Ife Lundberg had to say about playing in NBA Summer League. And by the way, you guys, before I read you the tweet, when I was making my son's Summer League video, I completely overlooked the fact that Ife Lundberg was not on the roster, which I do apologize for. It just completely slipped my mind. But here's what he had to say. He said, and I quote, I have always said that I would not play in Summer League if I was not guaranteed a contract. It feels too big of a risk to take, especially with a view to my family's future. I stand by that. But having said that, there is still plenty of interest from other NBA teams, so I'm still calm. 
We have to see what happens. That was a quote from Gabriel Ife Lumber. Once again, the article is in Danish language, but I'll leave the link down below in the description if you guys want to translate it and everything. You can go on Google and do that stuff easily. But uh, overall, you guys, I'm still rooting for Gabriel Ife Lumberg. I hope he comes back to the Phoenix Suns somehow. And kind of like he mentioned, there's lots of NBA teams that are interested in him. And this is his time to shine, you guys. Teams have sort of been able to see what he can do so far with everything he did overseas and the short amount of time with the Phoenix Suns as well. So I'm really cheering for the guys. Sucks that we won't be able to see him in Summer League, but he's doing what's best for him and his family, so I wish him the best. Also, you guys, speaking of NBA Summer League, Ish Wainwright, who is on our NBA Summer League roster, just got done playing in Africa for Uganda in the FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 qualifiers, where he averaged 19.5 points per game eight rebounds and four assists playing at small forward. So that is awesome. The dude just loves to hoop. He's going to be on our summer league roster. Really excited for that. The Phoenix Suns first summer league game is this Friday, uh, July 7th. So I'm definitely going to be covering that game. It's going to be a lot of fun. At least we have basketball back for right now, you guys. Those of you who play NBA 2K, NBA 2K dropped the like Legends Edition, which obviously is Michael Jordan, being that this is the 23rd 2K game and Michael Jordan has been a partner with 2K for many, many years. They dropped the cover and the additions for all that. I think they even had like a small little teaser gameplay trailer and everything. Now, Devin Booker is confirmed to be on the standard edition. Sham Sharni of The Athletic uh, dropped that news when Devin Booker signed his extension. Now, I don't know how real this is, but there was like a viral leaked image of Devin Booker's apparent standard copy, but I don't know how real it is. I think it is fake. There was like some website that wrote about it, and I think 2K might have had them delete the tweet or something like that. I think it's just a really, really good fan-made art picture. I don't know how legit it is. We're just going to have to see, but I'm really curious and really excited to see that Devin Booker 2K copy. And just the fact that Devin Booker is on an NBA 2K cover. Whether you love those games or hate those games, he is on the NBA 2K cover. And for the younger generation, they're going to know who Devin Booker is. It is just absolutely awesome, you guys. So shout out to Devin Booker. I mean, getting a massive five-year extension for over $200 million plus a 2K cover Devin Booker is awesome, you guys. That is just, that's incredible. That's pretty much all the news, you guys. Just some stuff that I thought was worth talking about. Once again, I want to hear all your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below on all this Kevin Durant stuff, on Gabriel Ife Lumberg, on Devin Booker and the 2K stuff. Let me know. Thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Please Hulk smash that like button, you guys. And I encourage you guys to subscribe to this channel for everything Phoenix Suns. Thank you guys so much for all your support lately. You guys have really been supporting me, and I truly do appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.